Oh, hi. Oh, hey, somebody's following. Why? I just got here. <laughs> Welcome. From Facebook? That seems odd. We're not even uh, streaming to Facebook. Must have found my shit. We'll fucking see. What does this button do? We're clearly on chapter select. Oh, weird. This seems like a weird... Let me know when you're here! Hello! Welcome. A surprise trip to the tropics turns into a working vacation when Sam and Max sign up to stop a massive volcano eruption. Will their special blend of bewildering wit and renegade justice be enough to win over the gods? Not to mention the locals. Hmm? I'm frozen! Frozen to you! <clears throat> Trying a reload. Okay, hold on. Let me see if it's frozen to me. No, not creator mode. I just want to fucking see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I'm moving. Okay. You're back. You're back. I'm back. We're all back. Skunk ape. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. <laughs> Were these released over a long period of time? Kind of. It's supposed to be quicker oh, than a... If it was a whole sh my guess, game. Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. It's some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Still closed. Sybil's office is closed. What does she do now, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, she's doing even less of it than usual. Can you not hear? Even me? Can you bump the gain? Of, of which? Of me or the game? Let's have... What is it with mysterious portals lately? Sybil's not that mysterious once you get to know her. I don't even... ...want to know what you think I meant. Anyway, we should probably save her from the rampaging triangle thingy. Yeah. You did a little we more. might need her later. You're still the president, right? Can't you get an urban renewal... ...squad down here to fix the pavement? I don't sully myself with local matters. They're bad for the skin. Let's get cracking. Certainly. Certainly. When in doubt, use a gun. Come here, triangle. See what you do. Oh, fuck. It's too close to the side. You motherfucker. I know it's not gonna work, I just wanted to fucking do it. For fun. <laughs> Jimmy over here? Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We were wondering where you'd scampered off to. What are you doing just standing there? Stop that thing! It already sucked up Big Otis and T Bone. Big Otis! I need to get my Mountain Dew. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh man, I drank it all! 
Here, I'm wearing one of my shirts. Trust no bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm truly ready. It's some kind of semi sentient energy. Shut up. Let's see what Bosco's got to say about this. Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? Well, I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, well, what you got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Uh, wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. <laughs> What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. <laughs> oh, no. Can I say them again? Who summoned the triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming. Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the Triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. <laughs> what, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? Walked into that one, Bosco. Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys. They're coming for us. I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids and a Y2K scare. Nice one, Max. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them, if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the triangle? Well, they're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And Sybils, apparently. Mm-hmm, those two. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. I see. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time. The store's closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always. You got anything I can steal? Oh, aluminum foil. We've learned head. the hard way that tinfoil hats aren't much good against mind control or battle axes. But they're a great defense against working microwaves. Let's see, I keep thinking you're gonna be able to use the periscope or something. This all seems the same. Jerky roll ups. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Ugh. I need me a stop sign. Maybe we got one in the closet. Oh man, torture me, Elmer. Well, there's nothing we can do to torture me, Elmer, that hasn't been done to him already. Yeah, we were pretty thorough last night. <laughs> punch, punch. I'd hoped that after getting a punching bag for the office, Max would stop hitting me all the time. But that's how I show affection. Well, could you stop loving me so much before 6 a.m.? No way, Sam. I could never stop loving you. Nice work, Max. So, can I do you next? 
thanks, but I'm not letting you anywhere near my head with those hedge clippers. Come on, you'll never feel a thing. That's what worries me. We got another message. Hi, Max. It's Max from the future. I've come back to warn you. Don't forget the 12 monkeys. Also, tell Sam I said hi. What was that about? I'm making 12 monkey chili. And do you usually forget to add the monkeys? No, I just forget to peel them. Uh, this is the blood bank calling for Mr. Max. Um, thanks for your very generous donation, but we'd really prefer that people only donate their own blood. <laughs> Great. Now what are we going to do with all those buckets of sea monster blood? We could build a grotesque slip and slide. Great idea. We'll call it the birth canal. Gross. Flint's office feels empty without him. Me too. I really love that guy. Jimmy's old place. I'm impressed. It's even more beat up than our office. Yeah, if he thinks he's getting a security deposit back, he's crazy. It uh, made me think of Future Man going rat hole to rat hole. That finger painting looks oddly familiar. I put it on the new dollar and a crabby senator from Kentucky. Still there, Leonard? Leonard looks surprisingly healthy for someone who's been in a closet for six months. I've been feeding him. Aw, oh, you old softy. I had to find some way to get rid of all those spiders. No boxing Betty. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Jar of bliss. Let's see. Got any new things? Anything new on the tube? It's bad enough the TV station started showing static to cut costs, but now they're showing reruns. I haven't seen this one yet. Don't tell me how it ends. I see stuff in the, the background of the other views that you can't see on the floor. Like, there's like a square on the floor. I'm not sure what it's about. I don't know. I don't see anything in here. Shapey. You'd think being on a street, there'd be a stop sign. Can the snowflake be picked up? I didn't see a snowflake. Hold on. No. We're borrowing this from Santa's workshop until he gets back. When do you think he'll get out of hell? Probably right after it freezes over. There is a... Flower. Everything's a shape. I would think he would tell the triangle to freeze. That would be useful. <laughs> Decals. I think we can get decals. Hey, the Castrati Club is recruiting again. I thought I heard more screaming than usual last night. What's Castrati? Hey, give me some decals, fool. Howdy, cops. How's the auto body business? Hello, we're working on. <coughs> Hello, we're working on the most. <coughs> Please calm down, lady! We're sorry, we cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. Castrated boys sing in a choir. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. Stupid spot. Hi, you stinky. Oh, damn spot. oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Just sit down. <laughs> Exclamation point. Who did she kill? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Flint Paper's here. Let's talk to her first. Hiya, Stinky. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. 
You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa. Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. You are liar! Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired. Went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Person. Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse to collect calls. What is it with you guys? A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. There's a yield triangle? sign over there. <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular interdimensional portals. Some expert. Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short term, <laughs> but thanks. What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. Bye, Stinky. Give me that yield sign, bitch! There's a stop sign. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm doing surveillance. Oh boy, real detective work! Who are you spying on? Some mug, name of Bosco. Uh-oh. Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Sammo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame, with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. <laughs> How goes the stakeout? Getting interesting, fellas. I thought Bosco a Sammo may be on the move. Yeah. He's acting awful suspicious. Oh, that's just Bosco. Yeah, right. That's just what it does. Stop. But what if I don't feel like stopping? Then our insurance rates go up again. I thought that hat had a. a Monkey Island Fisherman Tall Tale thing on it. <laughs> Did you go away, you bitch? Stop. Ah! Oh, oh. it stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My... Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling. I'll save you. Oh, damn it. As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam! God, I hope not. Whoa.
I was supposed to shoot- oh, fuck me. I didn't realize. Do, do, do. More tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. <laughs> I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation, too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. <laughs> Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui. The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Whoa, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. <laughs> what exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then, a terrible cataclysm. The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. <laughs> what do you want us to do? You must stop Ranakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! Yes. We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the <laughs> fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks. Who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island? Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. Who are you guys, anyway? We Any are the I? Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. Let's see. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Uh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. 
I don't know. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just ripe with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. You got a bad attitude, guy on the right. What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. <laughs> Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. We were mean. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> Cheery. Oh, yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always <laughs> a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. Hello, we're Sam and Max, freelance police. What do you do? I'm the guardian of the stairs. What was that? I can't understand you. I'm Sam and the guardian of the stairs. Still can't understand Party you. Of Speak stone. a little more clearly. <laughs> of the storm. It's a silver gong. What's up with you, angry? Why the long face? It's just that we've been here for so long and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have us sign his yearbook. Not cool. <laughs> do you believe in all this prophecy of destruction mumbo-jumbo? Of course I do. I can feel Rana Cow's anger rumbling even now. Me too, Sam. I think those tamales from Stinky's are repeating on me. Ah, scatological humor. Very classy. Cheer up, pal. So, your civilization is coming to a fiery, cataclysmic end. Don't sweat it. I'm glad you can joke about the end of our civilization. I don't find it particularly funny. You should smile more. Lighten up, buddy. We're just trying to entertain the good people. Yeah, if you just smile, it'd draw attention away from your prominent brow ridge. So you're back to making fun of my appearance, hmm? Very original. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. Shake the Earth, buddy. Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh, tough island. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Is that supposed to be funny? It's a silver gong. Look. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the 20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still too chibi as shy of a complete set. It's, it's a gong with a silver triangle on it. Gong it's a gong with a gold triangle on it. Can we go, I mean, back, maybe? It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything! <laughs> says ancient hidden underground, whatever. It's a gold gong. SS Minnow. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. 
I don't think that's true. I think there were people that looked. Like real people who didn't realize it was TV. Was... What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true. Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness <laughs> tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. <laughs> What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit, a little bit. Why'd you drink so much? Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. He's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it. I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Looks like a... Looks like another gold gong. Tiny Tiki. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Woo! Spring break! Woo! Pipe down, Chucklehead. Everybody's a fucking oh, baby. I was hoping to get into a Lagomorph's Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. Is that Amelia they're more Earhart? frightened of you than you are of them. Hiya, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. Yeah. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh, Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! Who's DB Sweeney? I mean, I assume he's somebody who went missing. What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. 
You don't call, you don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. Once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Oh, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. DB Cooper was a guy who hijacked a plane for money and escaped by jumping out. I gotcha. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the hot limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half! Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia! See you around, kids. Hey, Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles. Oh, wait. Radical. No way. Rat it. Oh, wait. Hot damn. Watch out for flying bottles. Hot dang. Well, that was entirely pointless. <laughs> Agree. Purely decorative. Yes. The diaper rash. Ingredients? Bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. The pacifier. Ingredients? Kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. We're gonna need to remember water. this at some point. Ingredients, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water. Hurry. <laughs> Alas, Gene Krupa. I knew him. Nothing says remote tropical island like the steel pan. Except dysentery. I'd better not. Last time I played the bongo, I started a bloody decades-long tribal war. Best open mic night ever! Baby Glenn Miller? Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. I I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. You're a missing person? We thought you were dead. Yeah, <laughs> I get that a lot. I was here 20 years before I believed I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. How'd you end up here? I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. Why didn't you ever go back home? I can't go back now without a big comeback hit. It, it'd be anticlimactic. What do you need help with? Well, I, I'm trying to find just a, a perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? Well, gee, thanks, but I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and, and fresh. But I'm stuck on, on two things. I need a catchy melody, and I need a good train sound. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? 
Oh, you bet. I'm pulling out all the stops. This song's gonna be about all the things the kids are into these days. <laughs> Trains, and sock hops, swing dancing, methamphetamines. But how are we gonna find a new melody? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. What's Benny Goodman like in person? Well, Benny could do things with a clarinet that nobody else could. Well, thank God, hey, uh, one night after a show in New York, well, well, I'll just tell you, it was the damnedest thing I ever saw, and, and leave it at that. You know, there's a lady present. Was Count Basie really a vampire? A golem, actually, but we never held that against him. Those were simpler times. Keep on rocking, Glenn. Word. I think it's a D sharp. It's an empty tea kettle. Tempest not included. He needs more cowbell. It's oh, I forgot to make a cowbell inferno. joke. I intended to do that at halftime. Burn, baby, burn. Moai scat. Where did you find so many femurs? My old horn section. Say hello to Jack, Don, and Rochester. That's awful. Oh, tell me about it. Well, these guys still can't hold the high notes. Gruesome. If I had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day, sir. Did you have some jokes in the chamber for your announcer stint? No, I was just flying by the seat of my pants. I wasn't supposed to do it. It was, Kramer was sick and he thought he could do it. But then like the morning of he set up and was really like winded. And so it's just like, hey, you're gonna have to do it. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> but I did it halftime. I made a, a more cowbell joke, I think to somebody I was talking to. And so then I was like, Oh, I should, I should say that. And I never did. Just one good whack. Not so great that. Go whack, whack the gongs. See what they do. Nothing. Let's get it. Let's get the pacifier. <laughs> it's got kerosene. Let's throw it on a fire. <laughs> actually doing anything? It's an empty tea kettle. Tempest not included. Oh, here, hold on. Should we go get water? Diaper rash dispensed? I don't know why. Feels right. Pardon me, boys. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound well, I go. need for my big hit. Well, now I'm just stuck on the melody. Help me with that, would you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't. Is it always the same? I don't fucking know. 
I'm gonna go hit some gongs. Wait, hold on. What's in this one? The diaper rash. Ingredients, bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. I don't know. Let's fill her up for no reason. No known reason. Ugh. Is the solution something awful? Am I gonna have to hit things in a very particular order? That's stupid. You need some baby rash? Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union waitstaff. Do you want it in your sippy cup? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the waitresses' union. Just want to do want to drink union. Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. I see. It is a natural reaction to not want to drink talcum powder. <laughs> no matter how minty fresh. Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. <laughs> Watch out for flying bottles! Hang six, moon doggy! Woo wee! Ride that sucker! Oh, okay, it's in the front. I see. You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons, either. I'm pretty sure you lost. Hang six, moon doggy. Woo wee! Ride that sucker! Radical. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the sun was in my eyes. Oh, fuck me. I, that went back to bad, uh, quick. Oops. Oops. Oh, Hot damn! Ride it. Oh, fuck me! I'm so stupid! I gotta keep it in the, the middle. In my eyes. Watch out for flying bottles! No way! Hot dang! You rode that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle! Now do it with me on your head! Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. I feel like I did it just as long the first time. Do I need to get proof from them? Or do you know? How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, did you're the king in. Give up on you? You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. You want this disgusting thing? Yeah, maybe it made the difficulty Thanks. less. Our little man's going to need changing. Try it and I'll shoot off both your paws. Seriously, champ, we have to get into that cave. Beat it. Bye bye now. Do we make him even younger by giving him Fountain of Youth water? I thought that would happen.
<laughs> Shoot the fish. <laughs> Never the thing. Check this out, Max. Check this out, Max. Whoopsies, that's out of one. Nah. Does Max's head make an interesting sound? Not happening. I think it should. What's the deal with the gongs, guy? Let's hit them all in left to right order. Whoa. I can't reach it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Oopsies. Whee! I see. Check this out, Max. Can we clean her ears? Pick his nose. Mm, I don't... Let's see. We need to get over there is what we need. You need to shoot that bitch. Yeah, bitch! Oh, wait. It's, it's like the... That probably took away that one. So, okay. You need... Hold on. Can we get into this one because we can stand on his head, maybe? Seems bigger. I can't reach it. You'd probably make more friends if you'd just enunciate more clearly. Go on, Max. Why are you running? I don't think we've ever tried to stop a volcano before. Not unless you count that time in the Philippines. There's nothing like a secluded tropical island for a little R and R, is there? Sure, if you like sunshine and umbrella drinks. If I remember right, Easter Island is notorious for having suffered massive deforestation at the hands of its inhabitants followed by constant warfare and cannibalism that drove them nearly to extinction. Now you're talking! <laughs> Let's take in some sights. Or vice versa. Here, we didn't actually try... Does it show over there, at least? There was a gong on the different map, wasn't there? On the other screen? Check this out, Max. I think I should throw you through this triangle. That seems reasonable. <coughs> Can I pick up that clam? I thought he had a gong. I guess it was just other stuff to hit. Drink babies? No, ever since they're brisk, these guys don't give tips. Mm. Hmm. 
I don't know. There. Can we ask him about it? If it's by his face? If we're going to help you with your volcano problem, the least you could do is shake things up a bit. This isn't some game! I wasn't granted elemental powers just to amuse you! Are we gonna have to dig this guy up to get the stick out of his butt? He wasn't always like this. There was a time, centuries ago, when the ground would shake with his laughter. And there was a time when you didn't need a sandblaster to fit in your ceremonial dress. That was uncalled for. <laughs> What's the problem, Mac? Stop being so uptight and give us a demonstration. I'm not in the mood. Get lost. Here's a good one. A Frenchman, a German, and a Maori are in a hot dog eating contest. Don't bother. He hasn't laughed in over 500 years. They just don't write comedy like they used to. Relax, pal. You're gonna turn to diamond if you don't unclench. It's not my fault you two aren't funny. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. He needs Ellie's pun book. <laughs> I don't find them The funny. island is lovely. But I miss the sonorous tones of traffic. <laughs> Come on, blow us up a typhoon. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. What's your problem? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. So you, you know how to, go to back. whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh. Keep up the I good wondered. work. Iranakurua. Iranakula. Max is like, get the fuck gone already. Oh, I wanted to read these. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Been hey, watched. Bosco. What do you know about Easter Island? Why? Who told you to ask me that? Just some guy outside in a black suit and sunglasses. Seem to know a lot about you, Bosco. <gasps> They're getting closer. <laughs> Bosco, has the water been tasting funny to you? You noticed it too? Ever since we saw those government guys working on the pipes down the street. It tastes like control, and makes me want to pay taxes. Good thing I distill, sanitize, and recycle my own water. You know anything about those black helicopters hovering outside? Stop trying to freak me out, fools. I'm busy. Hey, Bosco. Did you know you're being watched? Do you guys even know me? Of course I know that. <laughs> no, we mean right now, from inside Stinkies. Y'all just trying to make me paranoid. You think I don't have a camera inside, Stinkies? I'd know if I was being watched. Where's the camera? Oh, it's genius. Hidden inside the pie that nobody ever eats. Oops. And, uh, by the way, tell Stinky her place would look a lot better if she didn't have that big black lump in the booth that looks like a small intestine. See you, Bosco. Not for long. No traceable arsenic. <laughs> Did you see that? Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Looks like somebody already had a slice. That explains all those ambulances this morning. And the screaming. We should go talk to the... How's the stakeout going, Flint? Machine. Shh! This is make or break time, boys. He could hightail it out of here at any second. Yeah, I don't think so. Whee! What was Bosco's line about the diner? He said he hit it in this pie and that shouldn't... There shouldn't be like an intestine-looking whatever in the booth or whatever. I think something's in... Like, he can't see.
Hi, you stinky. There's a mini game around, I see. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, Outside. granite sandwich coming right up. Oh god. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. Max would like the kids special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. Hey, I don't make the rules. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Max could kill a man. Bye, Stinky. Sandwich. All right, we got a sandwich. Howdy, cops. Anything new in the auto body business? Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Naturally. Make that dream a reality with our brand new car horn. Horn. With a captivating melody composed by our resident musical maestro. One FD, I want one! All right, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Denied! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. Ah. Tell us about this new game you're working on. That is correct. It will revolutionize the entire industry. A music-based video game. Boom! <laughs> we are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout the tri-state area. And I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers never intended. Does not compute. You are saying that music video games already exist? <laughs> Failure! The white bunny in the diner with the rock sandwich. <laughs> yes, clue. How things been in the neighborhood? Noisy! There has been a dramatic increase in folk instrument related automobile accidents. Oh, right. The 10,000 man Scottish poker march is in town this week. My favorite time of year. The streets are filled with accordions and bagpipes stacked like so much cordwood. We hate bagpipes! <laughs> How do we play this game of yours? In a world where folk music instruments litter the mean streets, your mission is clear. Destroy all the bagpipes! Bagpipe obliteration ultimate! Don't we have to destroy the bagpipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack? That's way too complicated! Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive new car horn! We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? Does that make the melody that the dude Let's will like? It. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicar Music Challenge! Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes! Bring the noise! Ready, go! Oh. are just like hidden in there.
Congratulations! You are a winner! I am. What are icons at right? I just saw the, the bar fill. Congratulations! You've won the exclusive Pimp La Car Audio Enhancement Accessory! I'm as your friend! <laughs> Be sure to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. Play it, my guy. That's definitely what that guy wants. We are over time. There was a horn and opera glasses. Oh, I don't know what that was about. Let's go give him this, see if it's it. And if not, or if it is, probably done for today. Oh, I think those are decals. That makes sense. Hey, Glenn, listen to this action. That's, that's fantastic. Who wrote it? Bring him with you so I can work with him full time. I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, in any case, that's the perfect melody for my new hit. Let's get started making musical history, boys. They say decal like decal? There's a demo on that conch shell. This is going to be huge. Are we going to get a producer credit? Talk to my agent. Play that conk. Okay. I don't quite understand what that was about, but all right. Uh, cool. We will not be playing tomorrow. It is uh, practice night, but Thursday, yes. We'll probably finish this, I'm hoping, because then, no, we can play Friday too. I'm going to go see Cocaine Bear on Friday, but it's later. Have you seen Cocaine Bear? Shh. Tell me about it. Okay. See you Thursday.